Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Intel overlay, the persistent motion for benchmarking graphics and etc. But more importantly, the new feature of GPU Busy. Now I know Gamers Nexus did like a full breakdown of this video with, with the uh, old Intel guy. Uh, so if you want to learn more about it, definitely go check that out for sure. But we're going to be more or less looking at it in gaming and how it looks on like games that are optimized well, on games that are maybe a little bit too much to handle for a graphics card, how V-Sync affects it, etc. So if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're into hardware and gaming and FPS. With that out of the way, let's head to our first game. It's going to be Destiny 2. Now I should mention that all these games are tested in 1440p. So the gameplay here, uh, we're doing a pretty intensive operation. This is uh, one of the six-man activities for Xur, and usually I, I pick this for testing FPS, and as you can see, the FPS is pretty good, and more importantly, let's take a look at the GPU Busy. So GPU Busy, as a like rough overlay of it, uh, it basically, it's supposed to tell you if there's some kind of bottleneck in your computer. So it could be like the game not being super optimized, it could be uh, the GPU, it could be the CPU, it could be something happening in the background, it could be a bunch of different things. So what you're looking for is for the frame time and the GPU busy time to be nearly identical or as close as you can get them. Lower is better. So, you know, towards the bottom of the graph is definitely where you want to have this. And that's like a rough understanding of it. So for Destiny, as you can see, it is running fairly smooth, you know, over 120 FPS. It breaks 140 here and there. It's fluctuating definitely wildly, but not too crazy. The GPU busy graph and the average frame time graph are nearly identical, staying around the seven, seven milliseconds, which is pretty good. Everything else in the system is running pretty well. And this is, of course, during a six man activity and a bunch of crazy stuff is happening. Enemies on screen, lots of players and all that kind of stuff going on. Let's move on to our next game. So this game, I'm sure you're aware on the channel, Remnant 2 has gotten a lot of bad press because it doesn't run super well for it being a UE5 game and uh, the last game ran pretty well. This game does not run that well and you sort of need uh, AI upscalers in order to get pretty good performance out of this game. So as you can see in this game, it's vastly different from how the Destiny was. The GPU busy graph in the average frame time are synced up. They are synced up, but look how much higher they are in the graph. We're at 17 milliseconds. Now, I don't know how Intel are going to improve this like overlay, but there's like a million different reasons on why the game could be running poorly. So GPU busy would literally have to tell you, is your GPU running fast enough? Is your GPU having problems with temperature? Is your memory running slow? Is your CPU bottleneck? Is your CPU clocked fast enough? There's like a million different reasons on why your FPS could be lower and I'm not quite sure how GPU busy is gonna accomplish all that but we're gonna go ahead and turn on DLSS or Remnant 2 and you're going to see the GPU busy line go way down so I'm not quite sure what to say about this game um, this is the current patch by the way the game hasn't been updated uh, well the game has been updated but you know definitely not updated enough clearly you get almost 30 FPS for turning on DLSS, which is pretty wild. And lastly, I want to cover another game. This is more of a uh, fast-paced first-person shooter, Call of Duty Warzone. Now, Warzone, uh, from my understanding, it gives a lot of people problems uh, for the the performance for some reason. But I didn't see any of that happening. Uh, that's mainly why I redownloaded it, kind of see what people are talking about. So we got GPU busy up again, and as you can see, the FPS is you know, it's relatively high. It's all right. It's in the, you know, 80s to 90s. Pretty smooth. There's some dips here and there, but overall, pretty, like, fun stuff. The GPU busy line is pretty consistent with the frame time line, which that's one of my 
kind of questions. The GPU busy line and the frame time line don't really seem to change all that much unless you force them to change. Because uh, if I turn on VSync, that decouples the frame busy graph in the in the GPU busy graph like by a lot because you're forcing the, the FPS to stay locked to the refresh rate, which gives the GPU like less to do. That's the only time you'll see like a massive deviation in it. Um, so maybe I'll just have to find more game and we'll, we'll uh, revisit this later on. If I can find the game that is like vastly different from both graphs, I'll show them on screen. And if you guys like this kind of, you know, Intel graph, I'll definitely use it in the future. I've been I've been using Cap Frame X as my like overlay, but I kind of like the Intel setup a little bit better um, because how easy it is just to turn it on and like it's like almost like a two button press and you get all the information of the entire system on screen. Uh, it's a lot easier to see, but pretty short video overall. Just going over Intel's new fancy toy. Apparently it's been in beta for a while. Uh, I'll follow along and see what kind of updates they do with it and see where things go from there. That's all for now. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.